Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Sorrowful Mysteries, the Agony in the Garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The scourging of the pillar. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
None of the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The scourging of the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, fully grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, fully grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The carrying of the cross. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The crucifixion and death of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. You do we cry for banished children of Eve. You do we send up our sighs mourning and weeping in his valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us, and after these our exile, 
Show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech you, that meditating on these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today's gospel focuses on Mary's Magnificat. Here Mary narrates how God intervenes in the history of mankind. The Magnificat is not only a song, but a prophetic word and witness. What the Lord has done for Mary, He will also do for all of us, His people. May our Eucharistic celebration remind us of all the good things God has done for us in our lives that we may sing our own Magnificat. Especially pray for young people that in the midst of the pessimism of the modern world, they too may sing, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins 
and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Your mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. All provident God, when we were sunk in sin and death, you turned toward us and rescued us by the incarnation of your only Son. Grant that we who acknowledge this coming with reverent love may also be one with him, our Lord and Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Hannah offers her son Samuel in the service of the Lord. This act of dedicating her son, who will grow to be a prophet and leader in Israel, is an expression of her gratitude to God. The responsorial psalm is Hannah's song, to which Mary's Magnificat bears a striking resemblance. A reading from the first book of Samuel. In those days... Hannah brought Samuel with her, along with a three-year-old bull, an ephah of flour, and a skin of wine, and presented him at the temple of the Lord in Shiloh, after the boy's father had sacrificed the young bull, Hannah, his mother, approached Eli and said, Pardon, my lord, as you leave, my lord. I am the woman who stood near you here, praying to the Lord. I prayed for this child, and the Lord granted my request. Now I, in turn, give him to the Lord. As long as he lives, he shall be dedicated to the Lord. She left Samuel there, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord, my horn ex exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. My heart exalts in the my The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering geared on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry Button on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, for the mother of many languishes. My heart is the Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles. He also exalts. My heart is he raises the needy from the dust. From the dung heap, he lifts up the poor to sit them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. My heart exalts me my Savior. Please stand. Hallelujah, hallelujah. O King of all nations and keystone of the church, come and save men whom you formed 
from the dust. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm, and he has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ang Ebanghelyo sa araw na ito ay tinatampok ang awit ni Maria, Magnifica. Ito rin ay tinatawag na awit ng mga dukha, ng mga mahihina, at ng mga nasa laylayan ng lipunan sapagkat kadalasan sa kanila'y walang nagmamalasakit. Sa takbo ng lipunan, ang una ay laging una at yung huli ay laging huli. Kaya yung mga nasa laylaya nawawala ng pag-asa. Ganito na lang ang buhay natin. Tanggapin sapakat hindi tayo uusad ng pataas. Hanggang dito na lang tayo, hanggang tayo'y mamatay. Hindi ganyan ang pangakong pag-asa na binitawan ng Diyos para sa kanyang mga inaampo na mga anak na tulad natin. Pumasok sa kasaysayan ng sangkatauhan ang Diyos naging tao upang baguhin ang takbo ng ating buhay. Katulad ng pagbabago ng takbo ng buhay ni Maria, isang pangkaraniwan at hindi kilalang babae, subalit itinaas ng ating Panginoon upang maging ina ng Diyos at naging ina ng sangkatauhan. Kaya nga dito sa awit ni Maria, sinasabi ni Maria, yung naganap sa akin, ay magaganap din sa inyo. Mga taong parang wala ng pag-asa, mga dukha, mga kapuspalad, mga nasa laylaya ng lipunan, mga mahihina, ang Diyos ang may kapangyarihan sa lahat at bag, babaguhin niya ang takbo ng kasaysayan. Paano? Kaya nga ang patakaran ng kaharian na itatagtag ng Diyos ay iba sa patakaran ng kaharian na tinatatag ng tao. Ang mga tao kapag ka nagtatag ng kaharian, yung una, una magpakailan pa man. At yung huli, ay huli magpakailan pa man. O alam nyo yan, nararanasan ngayon natin yan sa paghahari ng tao. Yung mga makapangyarihan noon, 
Pareho pa din ngayon. Pareho, magkakamuka, magkakadugo, magkakalahe. Hindi na nagbago. Halos pare-pareho apelido. Nandiyajabri pa rin, nakaupo sa kanilang mga trono. Sapagkat sa pagahari ng tao, ang una ay una. At mahirap tanggalin. Yung mayayaman noon, hanggang ngayon, mayayaman pa rin at makapangyarihan pa rin. Una pa rin sa lipunan. Ang hirap makausad ng mga taong nasa laylayan. Yung mahihina, yung mga dukha. At sa kanila, walang nagmamalasakit. Tingnan ninyo sa listahan ninyo kung sino binibigyan nyo ng regalo. Makikita nyo yung pang kung sino marami yung pa dinadagdagan natin. Yung mga nasa ibaba, baka wala sa listahan natin. Bakit? E ganyan ang takbo ng lipunan. Eh ngayon, ang sabi ng Panginoon, Iibahin natin ang takbo. Ang una mahuhuli, ang huli mauuna. Mababasa nyo yan sa tatlong ibanghelyo, ni Mateo, ni Lucas, ni Marcos. Sinabi ng Panginoon sa aking kaharian, ang una mahuhuli at ang huli ay mauuna. Yuyugyugin niya. Yung ating nakasanayang patakaran, ay yuyugyugin niya. Parang yung mga botelya ng iniinom niyong gamot na likido. Bago niyo mainom, kailangan yugyugin niyo muna yung botelya. Shake well before you use it. Sapagkat yung likido sa ibaba, kailangan pumunta sa itaas. Yung itaas pupunta sa ibaba. Ayun. Bakit nagkaganon ang patakaran ng ating Panginoon. Sapagkat nga, sa lipunang ito, ang laging nakakaligtaan yung mga nasa ibaba. Kaya tumatagwa yung mga nasa ibaba. Kailan matatapos ang aming pagdarahok at paghihirap? Wala kami masulingan. Kaya sila pag naghihirap, wala silang bukang bibig, kundi, oh Diyos ko! Sapagkat mahihina sila. O yung iba, naalasan, iba ko kung naalala pa ang Diyos, kapag ka meron silang issue at problema, ang, pagagawa, ang pagagalawin, yung lakas nila, yung kapangyarihan, oh, ayusin mo, aregluhin mo. Hmm. Sabihin mo doon sa mga alagad ko at mga galamay ko, ayusin nila to ha? Bakit makapangyarihan sila? O bayaran mo, ayusin mo. Madali nilang maayos, meron silang kwarta. Pero yung mga dukha, yung mga mahihina, yung mga nasa laylayan, Walang bukang bibigyan kapag ka nagigipit na, kundi Diyos ko. Kaya napapakinggan ng Diyos yan. Hindi sana magkakaganyan, ano? Kung yung mga sinusugo ng Diyos sa kanila, e eh gagalaw at tutulungan sila. Sino yun? Yung mga binayayaan, ang kapangyarihan. At binigyan ng kayamanan, hindi naman para sa kanila lang yun eh. Dapat yun eh binabahagi, kaya binigay sa kanila ng Diyos yun eh. Hindi para sila eh. Lumipad at iwanan yung mga tao. At hindi nila pagmalasakitan, hindi naman yun ang dahilan. Kaya sila may mga sobra, sobrang kapangyarihan, sobrang kayamanan sapagkat merong mga walang-wala. Hindi yan binigay sa kanila para kang kami. Sila dapat ang sugo. 
ng Diyos para doon sa mga taong nasa ibaba. Eh kaso, nanatili sila sa itaas na hindi pinapansin yung mga taong tinutungtungan nila. Kaya hindi na sinunod ang kalooban ng Diyos. Hindi sila katulad ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Tingnan niyo, Panginoong Heso Kristo, nakisama doon sa mga nasa ibaba. Nung siya'y nagtatawang tawa, ang pinili niya, yung ibaba, hindi yung itaas. Hindi siya pumasok sa palasyo ni Herodes, ano? Hindi siya naging mayaman, katulad ni Pilato. Ang pinasok niya at sinamahan, yung mga nasa laylayan. Bakit? Eh, yun ang itataas eh. Nandoon, pinakikita niyang ito ang dapat pagmalasakitan. Nagbibigay siya ng himbrimbawa sa mga itaas. Hoy, mga itaas, bumaba kayo dyan at magsitulong kayo doon sa mga nasa ibaba. Sapagkat pag bumaba kayo at sinamahan akong magsitulong doon sa mga nasa ibaba, magiging kayo'y kamukha ko. At pag kayo'y naging kamukha ko, kayo ay makikibahagi dito sa aking ugali at plano ng kaligtasan. Magiging kamukha rin kayo ko. Magiging kamukha ko kayo. At kayo ay kamukha ko. Kasama kayo sa akin na magliligtas dito sa mga naghihikahos. E nakalimutan. Kaya dapat sana bumaba sila. Maglingkod sa mga nasa ibaba. E lumaki yung mga ulo. Ang kanilang pinansin lang, nandito na kami, enjoy! At wala ni isa man sa inyong makakakuhang muli ng aming kaligayahan dito sa itaas. Oo, oh, kaya sabi ng Panginoon, pag ako'y dumating na, babalik ta rin ko. O paano ba kayo makakapunta sa langit? Paano ba ako makakapunta sa langit? Sino ang magpapatutuo na kayo'y kamukha ni Kristo? Na kayo'y mabait? Na kayo'y marangal na tao? Sino? Kayo ba eh? Kaya kayo'y ba ang dahilan kung bakit kayo'y malapit? Doon sa mga may kapangyarihan, ginagawa niyong ninong ng mga anak mo sa binyag. Si congressman, si governor, kababayang po ang presidente. Mga ganon. Bakit yung ginagawang ganon? Ang mga pangalan nila ginagamit nyo sa ganya. Hindi ba sapagkat gusto nyo mabilis ang pag-akyat nyo o, sa mga pinupuntahan nila para kung saan sila nandu doon, nandu doon din kayo. Ito mo yun, pagkatok nyo sa Malacanang, sasabihin nyo, ay kababayang po, Presidente. Oh, pagpunta nyo sa Kongreso, ay ninong ko sa kasal, yung Congressman, di mabilis. Yung ba dahilan? Palagay nyo ganyan ang patakaran sa langit pagpasok nyo. Nasasabihin nyo yung mga pangalang yan. Papasukin niyo ako sa langit. Bakit? Kababayan ko, Presidente. Ninong ko. Yung congressman namin. Palagay niyo. Dahil doon, papapasukin kayo. Sasabihin ba ng mga taong sinasabihan niyo, mabait kayo? na kayo'y dapat na mukha kayo ni Kristo, na kayo'y dapat papasukin sa paghahari ng Diyos. Siguro sasabihin nila. Nung mga sinabi niyo, mga taong politiko mo yung may kapangyarihan, na mabait kayo, bakit? Binoto niyo eh. Sinuportahan niyo eh. O di sasabihin nun, eh mabait siya, binoto ako niya eh, nung ako'y kumandidato. Palagay niyo, paniniwalaan ng Panginoon agad yun. 
sa bisa nung reference ninyo, yung reference ninyo, yung mga taong yan na makapangyarihan, dudulas ang pagpasok niyo. Ako, paano niyo ako malalamang mabait? Sino tatanungin niyo? Tatanungin niyo yung ating arsubispo, si Archbishop Socrates Villegas. O palagay ko naman, sasabihin niya, mabait ako. Bakit ka? Eh yan po yung boss ko dito sa Archdiocese. Yung ako lumalapit dyan, mukha akong mabait. Ha? Ah, diba? Kayo man, kung kayo may boss na pinagtatrabahuhan ninyo, di ba? Pag kayo pumupunta sa kanya, di ba? Hindi kayo madapuan ng lama. Okay, bait-bait ninyo. Sir! Sir! Ano pong may paglilingkod ko, Sir! Na kasi nakakataas sa inyo. O kaya ang impression sa inyo nung pinagtatrabahuhan nyo, mabait kayo. Eh, di ganun din ako. Pagpunta ko sa Arsobispo, Your Excellency. Ah, eh di. Pag tinanong nyo, ang Arsobispo, kung mabait ako, sasabihin na, mabait yan, magalang yan, masuno rin yan. Maniwala kayo. Sino dapat niyong paniwalaan na sumasaksi kung talaga akong mabait? Bibigyan ko kayo ng dalawang halimbawa lang, ha? Ano yun? Sino? Yung driver namin sa kumbento at saka yung aming mga labandera. Yung talaga nakakaalam kong mabait ako. Bakit yung driver? Alam kung saan ako nagpupunta. Kung sino ang aking mga kasama, pati yung pinag-uusapan namin doon sa kotse, alam ang aming driver, yung pasikot-sikot ng buhay ni Father. Kaya pag yung driver namin tinanong yun, sinabi, may mabait yan si Father, wala kayong masasabi siya. Mabait ako talaga. Sino pa yung labandera? Pati amoy ko kabisado. Pati yung mantsa ng mga damit ko, panglabas at panloob, alam. Tanungin niyo sila, yung mga nakabababa dito sa kumbento, kapag ka sinabing, yung pare niyo ay mabait. Mabait talaga. Kayo, sino natanungin ko kung mabait kayo? Yung mga sinusuportahan yung kandidato, Sino? Yung mga mayayamang kamadyong ninyo, kachikahan nyo? Yung ba, magbibigay sa inyo ng character certification? Sino? Tatanungin ko mga kasambahay ninyo. Tatanungin ko yung mga nasa ibaba. Tatanungin ko yung mga kaibigan ninyo. Kung may mga kaibigan kayong mga dukha, mahihirap, o puro mga kaibigan nyo ay puro mga high society at alta sosyedad. Kayo-kayo. Magsama-sama kayo. Para kayo nyo, doon sa kabila, magsasama-sama din kayo. Sino? magsasabing talagang mabait kayo. Sino kapanipaniwala? Yung mga nandoon sa itaas na kinaibigan ninyo para maging maginhawa ang buhay ninyo o doon sa mga taong tinulungan ninyo doon sa ibaba ng sa ganon eh pati kayo, kasama nila sa kanilang pagpapakasakit at hira. Kapag kayo nang ginawa nyo, kamukha kayo ni Kristo. At ang Espiritu ng Pasko ay nasa sa inyo. Sapagkat ang Espiritu ng Pasko ay naghahamon sa atin 
na walang naiiwan. Ang Pasko ay hindi lamang sa bata. Pasko ay para sa matatanda. Ang ina siya sabi, Pasko para sa bata. Hoy, wag niyong iwanan yung matatanda. Yung mga may sakit at mahihina. Madali na buhay niyan. Na mauna sa inyo at yan na magsasabi sa Panginoon kung mabait kayo at inalagaan sila. Sino ang sasaksi ng kabaitan ninyo? Sino iiwanan ninyo yung mahihirap at puro mayayaman lamang ang nandun? Sabilin, o mayayaman nandun din yung tatlong haring mago. Nandun. Bakit nandun? Ah, ang layo pa ng pinanggalingan para makiisa doon sa mga pastol at mga mahihirap. Nang sa ganun, hindi sila maiwanan. Nauna yung mga pastol. O, kaya makiisa tayo. Hindi naman mahirap gawin yun eh. Hindi na kayo maghahanap pa kung nasaan yung mga nasa laylayan ng lipunan. Kung sino yung mahihina. Kung sino yung mga dagdara sa Pasko. Hindi na. Mabubunggo mo na lang yan eh. At lalo na sa ano, may pandemya. Nako, Diyos ko, maaamoy niyo pa. At lalo na ngayon, ang daming biktima ng bagyo. Oho! <laughs> Mapapanood niyo pa sa TV. Makikita niyo kung saan-saan, hindi na kayo maghahanap. Ang kaligtasan niyo, makikita niyo sa mga taong yan. Na magsasabi sa Panginoon, pagkatok niyo sa langit. Sino may kilala dito? Oho, nauna yung mga ayun eh. Masabihin, Lord, kilala namin po yan. Mabait po yan. Yan po ang taong sa aming kagipit ay tumulong sa amin. Hindi po namin kapilala. Hindi po namin kapitbahay. Hindi po namin kadugo. Wala pong hininging kapalit. Pero dahil nakita sa amin kami naghihirap, tinulungan po kami. Parang kayo po, Panginoon. Panginoon, papasukin niyo po siya sapagkat kamuka niyo po ang taong iyan. Sana kayo yan. At sana all. O magsitayo tayo para manalang. Like the Blessed Virgin Mary, we rejoice and are glad for the great things you, O Father, have done for us in sending us the Savior of the world. With hopeful hearts, let us pray. Father, remember your promise of mercy. Father, remember your promise of mercy. May the church strive to be a church of the poor, where the poor, equal to all others in dignity, not only are evangelized, but to become evangelizers themselves, we pray. Father, remember your promise of mercy. May those who serve in public office turn away the culture of wastefulness, violence, and corruption. May they seek the common good and practice transparency and accountability in governance, we pray. Father, remember your promise of mercy. May those who are in the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic Persevere in their work, knowing that they bring God's love among the people, we pray. Father, Father remember your, your promise of mercy. May our daily lives be a proclamation of true joy and humility as we humbly serve others and remain open to God's grace, we pray. Father, Father remember, remember your, your promise of mercy. May those who have gone ahead of us find peace and eternal happiness, sharing the joy of the Master's table, we pray. Father, remember your promise of mercy. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Father, remember your promise of mercy. Father, listen with compassion to the prayer of your church. Strengthen us in adversity and make us generous in prosperity. Give us true faith and love that burned in the hearts of the Virgin Mary. 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. With confidence in your mercy, Lord God, we hasten to place these gifts in your holy altar, that your grace may cleanse us from sin through the very sacrament by which we offer you true worship. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere. To give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francisco, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, our auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Dominic and Saint Francis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. Jesus loves us, and in his love for us, he taught us to call his own Father our Father, so we have the courage to say. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Please kneel. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be hit. Please kneel for the prayer for the election. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. From dishonesty lies an old distortion of truth. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Let us pray together, hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. That the common good may always be our highest goal that human dignity may be respected all the time, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority, that care for creation may never be ignored, that solidarity may guide the path of peace and development, that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Let us pray, shepherd of souls and savior of the nations, 
politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Lord God, may our sharing in your sacraments be for us a source of strength so that when the Savior comes, we may welcome him with holy lives and obtain the prize of an ending happiness. Grant this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Kami po ito sa puso nagpapasalamat sa inyong lahat ng kaisa sa ating pagdiriwang ng Santa Eucharistia. Naway magpatuloy kayo sa pagdarasal para sa mga naglilingkod sa inyo dito sa Basilica Minore of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag at makakaasa kayong magpapatuloy din kaming ipagdasal kayo at ang inyong mga minamahal sa buhay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the Almighty and Merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of His only begotten Son and yearn for His coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent and enrich you with His blessing. Amen. As you run the race of this present life, may He make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. So that rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when He comes again in majesty. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit Come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass ascended, go in peace. Thanks be Thanks to God. God. Now please join us as we pray for the blessing of the sick, then followed by the prayer for the blessing of your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick and aging brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness. Restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 